Now everybody's wanting to hear about it, and I think it's pretty cool. Out on a canoe trip with his girlfriend and her son in the Licking River, David Boyers came upon a very unusual piece of debris. I just looked down, there was a pool of water by itself, and uh, it was laying down in there, in, in about one and a half to two feet of water. And I could just barely make it out, it looked like the shape of a bone. The only thing I could think of around here that was that size was an elephant. The 20 pound bone actually belonged to a mastodon, an elephant-like prehistoric creature standing up to 10 feet tall and weighing several tons. That's the same configuration. Compared to a life-size exhibit, the piece of bone distinguished by a hole through the center and the sponge-like appearance inside is clearly part of the right front leg or what experts refer to as the funny bone of a mastodon. In the area, the giant animal was not uncommon, but stumbling upon a prehistoric skeleton certainly is. But it's very unusual for someone to bring in one of the bones that they've found. They're not commonly uncovered, and when they are, I suspect people don't recognize them as important. The bone, estimated to be about 20,000 years old, nearly stayed undiscovered. After well, picking up the piece of prehistoric proportions, Boyers came close to leaving the past behind. I was getting ready to drop it back into the river and I happened to look inside and I could see there was a hole down the middle. 